Good morning. Today is Anthony vlog takeover. So he will be vlogging today. So give me this. <laughs> Keep talking. Why you want it? So take over. <laughs> so it's 8.30 and the day is beginning. I'm going to go get us something to eat for breakfast. And... That's it for now. Okay, guys, so I'm parked in front of this place where we get uh, acai bowls. So that's what's for breakfast, uh, acai. Um, so I'll show you the place um, inside. It's downtown. It's the closest one to us. It's in downtown Fresno, like literally downtown. Um, but I'll show you right now. They got this little seating area. All these seating area. They got drinks and poke bowls too. Look at the sizes. So you see the menu and then you see the sizes. So it's pretty good size. Pretty good size. Medium lasts me half a day. Small is probably one meal. Large is the large is a lot. Okay, guys. So this one's mine. It's pretty simple. It's just the bases: acai, a bunch of flaxseed, uh, almond butter. That's the one I like, and bananas and coconut shavings. So when I get home, I'll probably add some frozen strawberries because we already got some. This one's Jessica's, same thing, acai bottom. Uh, this one's more probably, if you're not used to eating stuff like this, it's probably more friendly to you. Um, it has the acai on the bottom, the granola, banana, blueberry, strawberry, and coconut with the honey drizzle on top. This one's really good if you've never tried it or if you're not used to eating um organic i guess you would say um this one would probably be your best bet because then with this one over here you get you tend to besides the almond butter you tend to taste the flax seeds and the, and the acai a lot more um concentrated but that's what it looks like okay guys so a few hours have gone by uh it's almost 10 30 i'm running a little bit late uh, so I got to make a stop uh, Pick up a couple of things for the shop uh, The Dollar General I think it's a Dollar General uh, Just a couple of things um, Toiletries I don't think I need anything else But I'll see if I remember or not So uh, On my way to work Sometimes I Kind of wish I had an early schedule You know like a six to three half hour lunch i don't really take lunches anyways but man sometimes i wish i had an early schedule just to get my afternoons in and have a long afternoon instead of a short afternoon but i don't know too many people that would want to come in to get their haircut at 7 7 30 in the morning you know everybody usually gets their haircut after work they don't have time to get their haircut before work plus being at work all day with all that hair on you if you if you get it on you but being a barber where i mean you could be an early bird but you're gonna wait hours before your first customer is gonna get to the shop you know the only time it's it's my early day is friday and saturday and that's only because people you know take fridays off or you know they'll they'll start their weekend early or or something like that so usually friday i'll go in early definitely saturday people you know i'm at the shop no later than 8 30 because people want to get their hair cut i used to go in at 7 30 on saturdays because this family they uh started coming to me and there was two sons and the and the father and so he would want to come in get in and out so i used to do that for them but they moved they moved out of town so they don't come no more but um yeah, sometimes I, 
I, I didn't mind that because when I would go in at 7.30, especially on Saturdays, I would get out, you know, 3 o'clock. And I still do get out at 3 o'clock now, but before, I used to get out a lot later. So, uh, I'm on my way to work. Jessica said I can't talk too much because I guess I talk too much and the video can't be too long. So, I'm trying to keep it short. It is Dollar General. They actually sell these. We used to make them when we were small. Put the little confetti inside the egg, crack them on people's heads. For two fifty, save your eggs. Okay, so I just pulled up to the shop. I'm gonna get off right now and start working because there's people out here waiting. But um, I guess I thought of something since I was showing those Easter eggs. How do you prepare for um, Easter? How do you prefer, prepare for Easter? I know some people started on Sunday with Palm Sunday and you know, they read from there on. Some people, you know, they start a couple of days after. Some people start, you know, during the middle of the week. I start on Thursday. I start on Thursday and I read Matthew and I start at 26 and I go on because that's kind of where it starts with the Last Supper, the betrayal, the flogging and all that stuff. The the um the the trial and the deceitfulness and the trial and how they tried jesus without the people and all that stuff and they made the the religious people made their their um their decision and you know without everybody knowing and stuff like that so i usually start on thursdays um Obviously, I pray every day and, and read and do that stuff just for myself. But as far as preparing my heart and my mind and, and everything to remember, you know, how, how Jesus went through it and, and the severity and, and the torture and, and all that, that horrible stuff that he took on his body, you know, for, for every one person to be saved. So I start on Thursday and I start reading little by little and... um you can actually go into a time a, a chronological time where he was betrayed at night they he went to the garden they 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 captured him at night and be, by by dawn at dawn the morning right when the sun comes up right before the sun comes up when it's still a little bit dark that's when they actually took him before um the sanhedrin and and all them and the religious people and the high priest and you know they started you know making the 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 decisions you know to to kill him and they couldn't do it because they needed the government to back them up and um anyways i'm running out of time so yeah i i started in matthew 26 because i really like the way matthew 28 talks about the resurrection and how you know not only jesus resurrected but he brought back people from the dead and the people that were living in Jerusalem in the town when he when when everything happened and the temple shook and collapsed and everything like that the wall was the veil was torn there was the dead walking amongst the living and I, I like that scripture a lot a lot of people don't know that because you just kind of read over it I guess if you've never heard it it's in Matthew 28 um, but that's usually what I do I just start preparing my heart my my mind and to reflect and that's really all it is is reflecting and meditating on the things that Jesus went through and the fact that he actually went through it that anybody who believes in Christ anybody who says they're a Christian recognizes that fact that he went through something in order to show something for it for you and for me and that was just to save us from sin to appease the judgment to appease the wrath of of God's throne you know because he's a holy god and he he can't have anything other than holiness around him so maybe i'll if anybody wants to know just just comment on the bottom we i can maybe do a a, a, a teaching on that if you want to know but i'm gonna get off because there's a guy that's waiting so i'll see you in a while all right guys i just got a lunch break right now it's two o'clock a little later than normal but I didn't bring a lunch today, so I'm gonna go down the street right here. There's this little Mexican spot that 
me and the guys usually grab something from. We'll send somebody to grab it and then we'll all grab something. Um, but yeah, it's just down the street, so we'll do some clips in there. So there's a little spot right here. That's the name of it. They got their little combos. Let me get a torta with fries. You got your meats that are not cooked, and then you get your stuff that is cooked. Alright, guys. Just got one taco to kill the crave. Torta, fries, and a soda. $7.99. Not bad. It's actually a pretty good price for a quick lunch. So I'll eat this and see you in a bit. It's almost dinner time. Yeah, right. We just started dinner. And cook some dinner. Big old mug. Just got home from work. We're gonna barbecue some chicken. Slow cooking chicken. Still barbecue though. Slow cook. We'll see how it comes out with some spicy barbecue sauce. We'll see you when it's on. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm taking over Anthony's takeover. <laughs> he's home early, so he's barbecuing and it's right out here anyway I am so excited to see this vlog but we are making chicken and I gotta make some sides so we'll see you guys later all right guys so our dinner's almost done Jessica likes hers extra crispy and I like mine without skin <laughs> what are you doing I'm doing the Lord's work if he don't stop, why should you? <laughs> it's the end of the day. Welcome back to her vlog. She just took him back over. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to enjoy our dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Anthony's takeover. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. God bless.